It looks like rain, but it ain't gonna do nothing. Look, I found something interesting out. It's crazy. <clears throat> crazy. It feels beautiful outside. It is uh, 62 degrees. It's gorgeous. It's supposed to be a high of 80. Oh man, I don't even know what to do with myself. But I found something new out about this stuff. Yeah, so stay tuned for that. I'll tell you all about it because I was totally mind blown when uh when i heard this and so hmm, anyway uh i've got i'm gonna tell you about that uh trimmer head if you've been watching you know i bought a new trimmer head uh tell you all about it i bought a new throttle assembly for the red max so uh eventually i've got it tight tightened right now but eventually uh, i will show you how to replace this whole whole thing the whole thing and then uh yeah like i said we got see look y'all you know, check it out molars are clean <laughs> uh then we got this coming up if you can see yep that thing i'll tell you what i feel between this one and this one okay uh then you know i had that stupid flat on the the ferris so i was going to put glow i was going to put uh twills on it and yeah got the truck washed the only thing i didn't get washed was the trailer which hey whatever so uh let's see what's happened they've had some pretty five minute storms so a, a lot of this week i will be doing majority of all these properties this week because we've skipped them so much that majority of all of them will be done this week so that's kind of a good thing uh yeah so stay tuned I'll tell you all about the uh all about what i found out because it's pretty interesting i promise you it, it you will want to know because it just blew my mind i had to call the factory personally to see if this was a thing so uh yeah so let's get rolling all right so got rained out up north can't tell the clouds uh but this is what i'm working on uh not only am i mowing his yard but hey i'll take critiques uh critique me please uh because i'm not i've done it but uh you know so i've got it in right there because i'm fixing to pull out all these blocks and fixing to put in a uh small wall a uh, small retaining wall there and so that's what all that right there is for is that but uh so i've got it on a one and a half degree uh slope coming out to this and then I've got holes drilled in this with gravel underneath it. Um, and so uh, to help drainage and whatnot, I uh, did this, need to blow it off. But uh, so, uh, you know, once again, critique, uh, I've got paver base down around it, uh, which is, you know, that gravel stuff. But, uh, and then I've got it, I leveled this with a uh, digital level, so it is, pretty dead dead on uh, and when I say dead dead on I think the most it may be off in certain spots is a point uh, zero uh, point zero six to a point uh, eleven something like that nothing crazy uh, at all I mean on a regular level that that's way level but uh, I use a digital level so then I've got, uh, we put the rock back in there to help with the drainage, but then I've got, uh, I've got more rock. We're going to put a different color rock in there as well. So, uh, yeah, you know, critique me away. Let me know what you think. Uh, if there's something I could work on, please 
Let me know. Uh, I mean, I've done it, but I've not done it, if that makes sense. I've done it, but I've not done it enough to, to you know, I'm, I'm learning as I go, I guess you could say. So uh, we got that one done anyway, and then uh, this weekend, hoping to start that. So yeah, the rain's moved out, hardly got anything here. I got the Toro dropped off at the stupid shop again. Tell you all about that. Uh, so did you know um, <clears throat> that if you, I called a mower, hang on, I'm gonna tell you, it's in Marietta, Georgia. So I called Master Mowers of Marietta, in Marietta, Georgia. And I asked the guy about a price on some twills. And uh, well, what I got told was the first words out of this guy's mouth was, you do know if you buy them, it voids the warranty on the transmissions, right? Okay, that's a new one on me, but I didn't say that. I just said, uh, okay, whatever. And he said, $1,500. I'm like, oh, well, you're outrageously priced anyway. And I just said, thanks and hung up the phone. So then I called Ferris and I asked them, is this true? If you put twills on uh, your mower, does it void the warranty on the transmissions? And guys, this is what I got told. As long as it's the same size tire, 24, 12, 12, if your twill is 24, 12, 12, then it will not void the warranty. But if you have the 52 inch Ferris and you put the 24, 12, 12 twills on there, you will void that warranty on your transmissions. Just so you know, I found something new out and uh well you possibly did too but on the ferris as long as it's 24 12 12 you're good but the 24 12 12s also fit on the 52s and when you do that then uh then you're good to go so you just can't put them on the 52s and it's fine but you know uh so yeah learn something new so i told him i said well you may want to call the guy that's selling these twills for you and inform him because apparently he don't have a clue what he's talking about so uh ta -dee da uh so yeah the the toros at the shop because well uh let's face it it's just it gets wet and uh well when it gets wet it just acts like it's running on one cylinder so i'm wondering if it's the coils i replaced the coils uh mid last year and so but the problem with that is is I, I did not put the kawasaki oem coils on it i went with another brand off of amazon that had excellent reviews so that's what i did there maybe that's my problem so i think we're going to switch the coils back out and uh put new coils on it that might be my issue see what happens so uh anyway <sighs> Let's move on. Uh, if you don't see no more of today, well, you, you'll see tomorrow morning start. And that'll be part of this video as well, probably. So, uh, well, it probably won't. That's probably. Uh, so let's let's move on and see what happens here. Uh, I've got one more property out that I, it's been three weeks since I've done it. Uh, literally, I've, I've skipped the past two weeks on it because they say that it's barely moved. So we're going to see uh so we'll show you that and yeah let me know what you think of that stuff if there's anything i could change hey let me know please uh, i'm i'm game i'm critique me uh because I, I need it i want it uh i'm not a pro at this by any means so let's roll all right that one is done look at that how pretty pretty i'm not sure if i will uh do this anymore or not they paid uh paid a month and a half in advance and uh yeah so we'll see i guess if i continue doing it i think i will i mean they've got a mower but i you know <clears throat> i think i'll continue doing it we'll find out but uh yeah so that's that one and then uh while i was mowing i got a call from the dealership <clears throat> what's going on with this tire uh while i was mowing i got a call from the dealership telling me that uh the coils were 
what's wrong with the Toro as far as it getting wet and uh, yeah acting like it was running on one cylinder so I guess water was getting down from the top uh, or something and getting in to the actual wire I'm not sure but anyway uh, we got that taken care of and go pick that up tomorrow so uh, that's pretty much it for the day now I'm far behind but uh, anyway got more done anyway it's nice to get something else done and not have to worry about it so luckily it didn't uh, didn't rain too much out here but uh, yeah keep that in mind on the twills a eh? and now I've still got to track down what the heck's causing the Toro to uh, spit and sputter only when it's hot outside when I say this I really mean this okay listen carefully I can run that mower all day on a day like today and it'll never once hesitate but when it gets 80 five ish i would say 80 it gets pretty hot and humid out it starts spitting and sputtering at every little bump every little jolt so got to figure it out got to something's going on don't know what it is so anyway that's going to do it for this video don't forget to like comment subscribe i'm danny i'll see you in the next one let's go i'm a strap in the great yep. knock with the bass yep. i got the echo locked in your face Ooh. if you want to battle this is not that place nope. you can meet me at the table and come get a taste we talk to youtube live yep. where i thrive yep. see me on the tour watch the grass fly by some think that i'm cocky to walter milwaukee it really don't matter because y'all can get off me if you like the video sub then hit a play we got 10k